the good frozen. The old horse trainer. Light hill sneakers. To feed the population by 2050 of 9 billion? Everything we do today is wrong, essentially. In a sense, it's not gone forever, but water goes to the ocean and becomes salty water. It rains, we recharge aquifers, if we're lucky. So there's a huge amount of wasted water in the system. Much of the soil of the world is degraded, but we can't abandon the degraded land. Jason Clay from the World Wildlife Federation reported, we're operating on one and a half worlds right now. One and a half worlds of need. So there's the notion that we need to increase productivity in certain crops 10 times and other crops maybe 50% to 100%. That's a challenge. And it's a challenge because we need people who are willing to work for generations sometimes to make the breakthroughs in a crop. So as opposed to saying, I'm gonna increase production, I think the metaphor has to shift. We need to grow nutrition. We need to grow food that is not just copious in calories, but copious in nutrition. And that's a huge shift because it's not what we've thought about in the production of agriculture commodities. I think there's appropriate places for every technology. The question is, would I use it if I thought it would save a crop at risk that was the backbone of an entire culture? And the answer is I probably would. Science doesn't stand still. Science is not static. I certainly wouldn't want a heart surgeon operating on me the way they operated on someone in 1950. And I'm sure you wouldn't want to go to the dentist today the way they operated in 1900.